And how are you guys doing today? My name is Corey Bates, and I'm here with Kathleen Shank, Director of Academic Support Services for Student Athletes. How are you doing today, Kathleen? Thank you, Corey, for having me on today. Anytime, anytime. All right, so I have a couple questions about, uh, for you about academic success with, amongst athletes. So um, let's talk about the ag ag academic standings of athletes at the university. Well, our uh, student athletes do a terrific job in their academic work. We, uh, our graduation rate is very similar to the university's graduation rate, and our total student athlete cum GPA is also comparable to all students here at Rutgers University. So we're very proud of our student athletes and what they've done. Um, their success is translated into a lot of honors and awards. Um, as you know, our football team academic progress rate was number one in the Big East, number one in the public state universities, and number three overall with all universities right behind Stanford and Duke. Uh, we also have about 100, over 170 student athletes on the Big East academic all-star team. We have a few academic All-Americans uh, by the ESPN, the magazine. Um, and we had our National Football Foundation uh, scholar athlete in Brandon Raycart. So we've been very, very successful off the field. That is amazing. That's truly amazing. So what does the, what does the department do to ensure that, uh, that athletes do have that success? I think one of the biggest things we do, and, and I think our office area does it very well, our academic advisors, is they monitor our student athletes closely. Uh, all our first year students and new transfer students have a weekly appointment with their athletic academic advisor to review what they did that week in their classes, their assignments, their grades, um, if they need tutoring to request tutoring. And also we reach out to the professors where we send out reports and ask them to complete those reports and let us know how our student athletes are doing in the classroom. And we've had some success with that as well and then we can better advise them and guide them through the rest of the semester. We also have a study hall set up for all our first year student athletes and new transfer students must take study hall. Uh, in their first semester and then they can earn their way out. But our study hall uh, is set up where it's a quiet environment. We have tutors there, so tutoring is part of their study hall hours. We're more concerned of them getting their work done, making sure um, you know they are doing the work, and so we have our monitors there to watch over them and make sure that happens. We also monitor their class attendance, make sure they're attending class because that's of the course. number <laughs> one thing, as you know, Definitely. Uh, that's very, very helpful yes. uh, to be successful in the classroom is being in class. And, and our student athletes uh, do a good job of that. Um, the only time they really uh, miss class is, is for their uh, travel. All right, so are there any specific programs that athletes tend to enroll in? The well-known majors here? Uh, they enroll in all kinds of majors here. We have such a variety of majors. We have uh, engineers. We have even an astrophysics uh, major. Uh, and then we have the most, you know, majors that are most popular here on campus. We have your political science, your history, sociology, psychology, um, criminal justice. So we do have uh, them enrolled in, in a variety of majors. Well, Kathleen, thank you so much for coming out today. Corey, thanks for having me, and thanks for spreading the word. Anytime, anytime. And there you are, academic success amongst all athletes here at Rutgers University. Not only do they work outside the field very, very hard, they also work inside the classroom even harder. So there you are, Corey Bates here for RETV, signing out.